I'm starting to look like Randy. I'm fat, but I eat healthy. That just makes no Stop. sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Stop. Stop. What's up? What's happening? Welcome back to the channel. You seen an intro? I'm apparently a fat bitch. As of July 13th, I weigh 180 pounds. In my entire 26 years on this earth, this has been the heaviest I've weighed. Now, to a lot of people, that's not big at all. That's optimal size. But for me, and the way my body looks, not okay. Not okay. And that is why I'm filming this video, because today is the day that I take change. And I'm gonna give you guys a nice little, either a 30 day, uh, I think I'm gonna do like a 30 day thing, or a seven day, I don't know, we'll see. I'm testing out a bunch of different workouts that I'm gonna see which one works the best for me and what I'm going with. All right. Today's video is not necessarily a car related video, although I am driving a Civic to the gym today. If it starts, I'm having this issue where like the battery doesn't want to start for some reason, but that is okay because thank you for today's sponsor. <laughs> we should fix that. Today's video is sponsored by Top Don, baby. I've been having issues with my Civic lately. The battery has been dying. It don't want to start. Blah 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 blah. But luckily for your boy. Top Don is here with their brand new battery charger and voltage monitor. You know that thing's a beast when it has four numbers in it. You just know it's gonna work. Opening up the package, we have the Top Don TB8000 battery charger and voltage monitor. Take it out of its case. So this is the charger all laid out for you. Got the terminals to plug into your battery. Plug this to your wall. Plug that sucker in. All right, so here I have this value never start battery. We're gonna plug up our TB8000. And see what it said. Negative. Positive. Terminals are connected. Top Don TB8000 is on. And look what we got, baby. So it's powered on. It's indicating flashing that 25% of battery life is on to this thing. Right now it's charging up. We have 12.9 volts at 2.2 amps and climbing. Oh, 13 volts, baby. Uh oh, a oh, whole oh, god damn, that battery good. That battery charging up real quick. Looking at the top down box itself, man, the thing comes with a lot of cool protections and charging modes. So you can charge anything from small bitty titty things to big mumbo jumbo things. You have over temperature protection, short circuit protection, over voltage protection, reverse polarity protection, and reverse charge. God damn. Nine step smart charging, bruh. Already at 75%. This thing is charging up quick. For a value never start battery, <laughs> it might start the day. It might start the day. So this is the issue I've been having. Go to try to start the car, dead, nothing. Nada, nada y tu, papi, nada y tu. Think we're money, baby. I think we're money. Oh, we're money. Yep, we're money. Ah. Huge thank you to Top Don. So I'm gonna give a huge thank you to Top Don for coming and saving the day. If you guys would like your own Top Don TB8000, be sure to click the first link down in the description box below. Use the code, save the big bucks. It's getting crazy out here. Y'all know that, it's getting crazy. Huge thank you to Top Don for sponsoring today's video. So last night on the couch watching a movie, I was stuffing my face with all these chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip, Oreo related anything are my weaknesses. I love cake, I love chocolate chip cookies, I love Oreo ice cream, milkshakes, but not no more. I can't have this. I look pregnant. I'm glowing. So how I gained all these damn pounds was being in a relationship, bruh. I would go to the gym like crazy with Randy. Me and Randy go every day, for four, maybe five days a week. Blah, 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 blah. But when you get in a relationship, bruh, let me tell you something. No matter what it is, your ass, your ass gonna gain some weight, all right? Just let you know. In the year's time, I gained like 15 pounds, bruh. To me, that's a lot. This is the heaviest I've ever been. Now, how I'm going to lose this weight is quite simple. Intermittent fasting, and I'm also gonna be jumping some damn rope and hitting the gym, but mostly I'm gonna be doing a lot of endurance training. And if it 
fitness. All right, so we're at the gym, but it's freaking packed today. Like, it's packed today. Well, we don't usually come to this gym, but I decided to come to this one because it's closer to the house. Uh, and, bruh, this shit way too packed. So we're gonna do a quick workout here, doing some dumbbell presses, uh, dumbbell exercises, and then from there we're gonna go home and finish, our, uh, finish up our cardio. I'm gonna do my skippity ropes, go for a walk, but give you guys my jump rope routine and talk more about why I'm doing all this, really. some filming on the iphone uh we only i only did one workout she did i think half of a workout and we just got it we decided to skedaddle bro that the, the planet fitness over here if you're local on darwin is ass the vibe the lighting the machines the the, the whole the, the vibe in there is just blast so we're gonna go home and finish out our workout and i'll show you guys what I do, well, what I'm gonna start doing and implementing more into my daily life and things of that nature. I walk these lonely streets and I'm in the bank, can't play with me. I'm Here is my base. You're looking at 180 pounds of pure fat assery. And it is fat assery because if you look at the side of me, bruh, even with my pelvic tilt, this is, this is not me. I've never been this big in my entire life. I'm getting, bruh, this right here. I feel like a white girl right now. And that's, I don't wanna feel like that, bruh. So, what I'm gonna be doing, skipping rope is very efficient for losing weight, getting lean, and improving your cardiovascular. Since I'm starting out with jump roping, the goal is to do five minutes of just straight on trying to keep going um, every day. But I'm obviously gonna increase to maybe five minutes today, 10 minutes tomorrow, and then five minutes the other day, then 10 minutes, like I'm gonna switch back and forth on what I wanna do. But anywho, we're gonna, we're gonna shred this, bro. We're gonna have a six pack looking sexy. Oh, yeah. I got love handles, bro. So I'm gonna put this on the time lapse. Uh, the goal is to do five minutes of straight jump roping on and off, and we'll see what we can do.
months ago I had purchased one of those smart scales and what you're seeing is my total weight as of right now, my BMI, my all that protein levels, water levels, skishdooba dooba shadabba flabber. So this is my base start. This is what I'm working with and the goal is to get my body fat down and get my weight down to at least 165-ish, 170, at least 170. If I can drop 10 pounds doing what I'm a, attempting to do, in the span of 30 days, that would be amazing. I am going to be very disciplined in what I eat. My main problem is lack of discipline. I do not have discipline. I'm like, oh, well, if I eat this cookie, it's only one cookie. So, no, no more snacks, no more ice cream. Well, okay, I won't say no more ice cream, but I'm gonna do veganized options. I ain't gonna go vegan, because I'm gonna need my meat. Paws. I thought I was a huge pause, but I'm gonna need protein and steaks and all that, you then. But I need to be disciplined in what I put in my body. My body is my temple. In case you want to follow along with what I'm doing, get your ass a cross ropes jump rope. It's like the best jump rope on the market. It's like a hundred bucks. Get you a jump rope. Watch what you eat. I think the thing with me is, I think I be eating healthy, but low key I don't. So now I am going to incorporate more healthy eating. Instead of getting the lemonade, drink my water. I have this big old one liter thing of water that I walk with me everywhere now. And I make sure all I do is drink water. No more lemonades, iced teas. I am going to go in this caloric deficit. And if you don't know what that means, it's like basically if you eat 2,000 calories a day, eat 1,000 calories and then work out. I think, I don't know, I ain't no damn uh, nutrition or something, but I've just been watching YouTube videos. <laughs> bro, I don't know, I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing, bro. I'm just, I'm just doing the eight to 16 um, fasting method where you don't eat for 16 hours and you have an eight hour window to eat, but I'm only gonna eat like healthy things, like maybe a salad or I get a pub sub or something like that, then I'll just jump rope, go to the gym, get a workout in, and then not eat for 16 hours, and then do it again and again until I get to where my body isn't feasting for food and I get that happy place to where like it won't bother me that I'm not eating for 16 hours. Granted, I fast every day, I only eat once a day, but I think that could be a problem too, because if I only eat once a day, and then my glucose, when I do eat, I eat a shit ton of food, and then my glucose, I'll be lounging, and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. So that's what we're doing. We need to drop at least 10 pounds in like 30 days. I think it's possible and doable. Maybe not. I don't know. My body, my metabolism is weird. Like I can drop weight quick and I can also gain weight quick. You know what's crazy? Before I met my girl, bro, I would eat pizza on Mondays, buffalo wings on Tuesdays, and then Wednesday to like Friday, it was Wendy's four for four. <laughs> and I stayed 162 didn't gain not an ounce. I meet her, bruh. Bruh, I meet her. The first two months, I went up five pounds. A year later, I'm up, what, 15 pounds? And I've been going to, oh, I've been slacking, but I've been going to the gym. It's a damn shame, happy weight. I need to go back to being depressed and sad, cause this ain't it, bruh. I hate taking photos, bruh. This is sad. When I take photos, I'm like, oh no, I look like that for real. Look at my gut. No, bruh, this is sad. I am trying to look good naked. You feel me? Or at least shirtless at the beach. This really isn't the video you were expecting, but this is the video that you needed. So get your fat ass up. I know you just lying on it. Nah, uh-uh. Boot camp. What's also crazy is during the pandemic, I didn't gain no weight. I actually lost weight because I had big body bovid. I'm getting old, man. It's catching up to me. Everything's sticking like glue in my guts. We have a base. I'm 180 pounds. You saw all my stats, where my protein at, my water level, all that other booze. Now we know. So I'm going to tap back in with you guys in seven days, and then 14 days, and then 21 days, and then 30 days. So each week will be a, prog a progress video where I'm going with you on this journey. Well, will you guys follow me on this journey to seeing if I can lose 10 pounds in 30 days, or at least try to. 
Alright, cool. So that's it for this video. If I get any new workout equipment, I'll be sure to include that into the next video. Which I do have the quiet punch type thing. I'm gonna uh, buy some gloves so I can get like some boxing techniques down because I know that's really good for like burning weight and cardio and things of that nature too. So I'm gonna hook up my quiet punch and this door thing and then start some videos off doing some combos and things of that nature. I think that'd be cool to incorporate me not being a fat ass on my channel. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy that. But that is it for this video. Video. I hope you guys enjoyed if you do enjoy the video please leave a like on the video it helps the channel man subscribe uh, do all the fun stuff are you gonna start your weight loss journey or bulk season whatever the case may be tap in let's do this together all right and now I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one and huge thank you to top down for sponsoring today's video remember to click the link down below to tap in and get involved save some bread get you a battery charger a scanner all that good stuff I'll right, be good I'll be sure to catch y'all in the next one I'm out Peace. Peace.